Sports. The final game in Peoria. This Luke Rayley at first, Dylan Moore in left field. The fans are already the scenes here at T-Mobile Park. And see things yet on Mariner's vision. There is lots to do. Ten thousand. Pretend you're Angie. <laughs> or that Brad. would be awesome. Or Brad, yeah, from injuries. To start this season, there's some open. Straight out here at the ballpark, so we might see a few home runs here this afternoon. Well, at least that's against Gilbert. Now for Logan at 373 Thursday. Nick Madrigal leads it off for the Cubs, and we're underway. Coaches or the players, Mike, when you get to that final cup. We saw from George Kirby yesterday get their arm strength up and get their pitch by the first. Well, Luke Rayleigh getting to start most of his career defensively in the outfield, but has played, get some reps in at first base as a backup there to Ty France. And I picked up on your subtle dig at the pitchers. On the broadcast in a couple of innings. This is taken there by Julio towards the gap. Now Gilbert in the same category of Gilbert in terms of somebody who from the studio. There was a couple of things this went. Historically, I thought he couldn't really throw because of his well here in spring training, Mike. It seems like that's something that he has a lot of confidence in. So I think that would definitely be part of the. We're talking to you, of course. The win, round number two. Let's try more gadgets to the gym bag. Oh, I, I told him. I a warning. And Logan training equipment. There's a works. Works for him. I count. These two have been working together since Logan Gilbert. Count. Walk. He had more strikeouts and fewer walks last season than the year before. Elamaya, the catcher, swings and misses for strike one year ago. Blanco getting into the lack of walks from Logan Gilbert a little bit more. That's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, with me. Yeah. Talking with Jerry the other day, and he said, you know, they are the darker the green. And once you get to just, and Kirby was a gold last year. And one, two. Now, this is a team that once again is anchored by one of the, told the rubber last year. Maybe not a big surprise. Flags it down. Don't more early, busy early in the first. Julio batting second. Polanco and then Garver. It's a go. Oh, JP's a career year by far, and really, like you stop not named A Rod. Single for JP Crawford. I mean, no clubhouse and the work that he put in over the soft season, but man, it just it all. The year before. Obviously, we remember the struggles from Julio early. He's going with a couple of men on base. What do you think, a player? Tip to get into year four, maybe five. Seems like year two. Those are always years where guys say always. And the catch made there for round number one. And a two-year free agent deal coming over to your... Fits in immediately. He really has... Yesterday played in Glendale. Again. Did not chase a single believable. I don't care if it's innings eight and nine. I was thrilled with that. Fastball would be 87, 88 miles an hour. Be... Now, Mariners last year kind of middle the 1 1. We'll have a chance to talk with Scott from the dugout. We'll also join. Field and the Mariners strand a pair. That's one of Brent Brown's former teams. The Mariners bench coach tied with the Mariners from 13 to 17, and then you're doing camp. It's been more like coming back home. I was very pleased to be part of that. Kind of like you never left. So a lot of our it's to where we can split up, actually be a human being for a moment in time. You preach and teach to Mariners philosophies. What would that be? I would say you put them in, though each and every hitter has a certain type of, allows them to stay reined in a little bit more, which sure does 
and then what they want to do to the pitcher, or you take your body and your mind diligently every single day. In that vein, do you take with hitters? Long way, and what you're going to do, if you're going to swing outside the box, swing. Um, but I, for, for us, moving from experience, I think um, in the right gas, so he feels just much better top gunning it, which we call like they throw the pitch and you fly right by. More um, look over a base. Um, he's been great with the other niche. Uh, was a catcher, and Scotty may probably did mess him up a little bit. But there's a lot of gum. Um, I was young and a little. Together, he's kind of been a part of your. You're hitting now. <laughs> um, and then we, um, you know, each and every year talk. Hey, let's shut it down right now. We're ready for opening day. Mitch Hanniger leads it off for the. And it started the first televised game. Of course, lo and behold, a year later, he gets traded back to Seattle. Leave as a free agent, sign a big deal. But 2-2 two -two his way for, for Mitch, for Scott, for all involved. It'll be more, it seems like it'll be more days. A lefty that comes out of the bullpen and the whatever. Rest him. You know, they want to take him out of the long season. Because it gets so difficult. I mean, he is... He is championing this. Another 3 2. Oh, that one. The Hanniger a lengthy at bat. Oh, that's point. <laughs> really. Really a breakout season last year, a couple times. In the shallow right field, Hanniger is still. Well, opening day is almost here. The Mar France has gone back to Southern California. First base, and Dylan's at left. This year will be in left field. Everybody's getting the itch. Cactus League game. Still two more exhibitions. Full count. Here before then. Can't wait to get things started for real. Hanniger advances into third, getting more bit of a length to sit out of it. Mariners have him on the corners. Good to see Dylan healthy. His first full season as a Mariner looks trade with Arizona coming over in the Paul Seawall deal. Moore takes off for second. Pitch a strike. Tag down. It's a great spring. You know how I feel about spring numbers. Giverable matchup more times than not. Nobody won't have any air. Put on 10, 15 yeah. pounds of muscle. Yeah. He, he, Hanniger is at third, ready to come home. Moore is safe as the ball gets away. Make it a call to the pen. We'll step aside. Two outs and a man aboard. Ball game on a Josh Rojas sack fly. JP with a base hit. Two to Crawford. Comes up in. Fires across the first pick. High. One down. Michael Bush, the batter. Mike, <laughs> I see where you're going. I mean, <laughs> two balls and a strike. There's this young guy. <laughs> Payoff pitch. Hey, yeah. In replay, you saw in the hotel after the game or something. Big rip off. For Logan, he's mixed in. Mixed. Oh, this last off out to left.
since Dallas. Tracks it well. For round number three. And after two and a half, when we go to the bottom of the third, the skipper, Scott Service, will drag out. It's the skipper, Scott Service. Scott, how you doing? I'm doing <laughs> We're excited and, and ready. Defense is starting to click. Uh, pitching as uh, with, uh, you know, with the Matt Brash set back and, and a couple other guys. And I think we did a really nice job going who's going to end up in our bullpen. One of us weighing at the right pitches. A lot of depth in our lineup this year. Guys putting the bench coach and offensive coordinator in the last in camp. Well, first of all, Brownie's got what we value and how we operate, but it's been a great addition to our hitting for language, I, I guess. A different way to mess G, and I don't really feel like the good 90s with the Cubs, so got to know him good as a player there, but different, and I, hopefully it works this year. We see Polanco at the very quickly. That's the outsider's perspective. We get to know each other and trying to create that connection under our son's game, things like that. You know, and, uh, you know, it's been really good, really good. And the bat is going to be a great addition here at the top. I'm into the game. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Bar, which is very critical in game, but I can do what Colin Snyder's been able to bring, uh, overcome the adversity. Get the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, I had a chance. So, uh, wife, two kids. Uh, uh, he's actually got a lot of players that asked him questions, you know, brought to light over there. And hope everybody at T-Mobile today. We'll see you in a couple days. Thanks. Good stuff. Thank you, Skipper. Backward. Body day here in Peoria. Aaron Goldberg, Mike Flowers. Months, is that right? Yeah, that's about Yeah, that. yeah, it's, it seems like it. Will Emerson amazing. joined us yesterday in the radio booth and baseball because you see this team through a uh yeah i know these inaugural spring breakout game yesterday it was amazing uh we got to see and had a nice game but tie feet at a game time hit late in the game are you on with the club to san diego i will be there mike mike one of the things that stands out to me about uh, on the base pass and in the batter spots it's really except they belong mm -hmm. here they looked really comfortable to advantage of the situation that they had in front of them. He, Johnny Farmello, got Alex, as you know, off to a struggling start in spring. Out of Jorge Polanco, he came in today hitting 444. Mitch Hanniger, welcome back, Mitch. He's hit 400. How comfortable they get right away. And I think that's his numbers, and I try to shoot them down because their spring training number live in. And unfortunately, this test kitchen is... <laughs> uh, Mike, Alex has... Under it with a win today against the Cubs. We come in 13. <laughs> Did you count the, the games in San Diego? Or no? No. Statistical bent, right? Which player? So it's been doubly great to have him back because I'm working twice as hard. Walk off hit as their first. A nice uh, extra hour of work that night. So thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recall? Uh, first of all, is is Taylor the one one? Mike, there's somebody. Eight different team. Eight. He's had a multi home winter that he found up all these. All these trivia questions because he was wearing us out. The Cammy was dropping all kinds of trivia on us in the office the other day. Gilbert's 2 2. Down on strike, swing and a miss. Alex here, 30 feet on footer. The uniform of Mariners baseball. Stay on the field to chat with us up here in the booth. Julio, great to see you. You ready to get out of here? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Camp would go pretty fast, but that last week took forever to get over. Now, Mitch Hanniger, everybody is happy to see numbers. I mean, what he's doing for. Uh, I'm not leaving the mic now. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's about a homer. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm happy to see what he's going to do for us. And I know. Is he shaping around for your club and what they look like? Oh, this special group. And it just. I see. Julio, the report came out, and Jerry. Yeah. Who actually runs well. He's a big man who can pedal. He's in. Don't trade these young starting pitchers. Here's Dylan Moore. Uh, Julio, I'm curious, man. Like you signed right now in the Mariners clubhouse that has so much clear, and I feel like that's that's why the team is so bought in. The vibe that we have is is really special. I feel like thank you guys. Let's keep enjoying the game. The one and only Julio Rodriguez. But what he wants to be around him, right? He he wants to be a winner. Look at man. We talked about the rotation, and now Scott leans on forward. Third time up. That's just a probably a good idea. <laughs> the only thing he was missing was a shovel. Just two outs, a runner at third. We got a pitching change. That's a new pitcher. This is high from second base. Master Boney makes the out of the fifth inning. Mariners have a one run lead. Mariners by a run as we make our way to the top of the fifth inning. 
Swing and a miss for strike one. Change up in the cutter that we've talked so much about. First inning was. And they got to that list by the number 11. So the Mariners near. And there are a couple of things that A's and have one quality. Near the bag, Rojas, long throw. Right, greatly suggested that he would. I think it shows how much he thinks of watching, and it's off the batter's eye. That's a home run. Boy. On a windy day. Line for Logan. Plenty of first pitch strikes. Gear with Modesto. Cooper had himself a good day. Three balls and a strike. Just below the knees. Find a Dylan Moore. Cooper trots on the start. Fair ball behind the bag. Circles around the base to the lead. We'll hand things over to Jim Mueller, who's standing by with Trevor Gooby, the Mariners' senior VP. Of it's due to a variety of things with the T-Mobile Park, and fans really love that. So that's another activation that they'll see. A trident that you can hold. That people, I don't think, realize how heavy that trident is. That's got to be pretty awesome. You are taking full credit for that, right? Open the door. He didn't walk right through it. That's really kind of... Gooby is in the top five in that Mariners' I would office. absolutely agree. He has been somebody part of Mariners general manager and helping make this happen. Then obviously to be at second base for the Mariners. He has shown in recent years his ability to really control the strike zone as well. Settled down at second base and now it looks like they have their guy. Can I give you something on Polanco to bloom you? Jorge Polanco. Think about how Mike for his career runners in scoring position. Underway into batting well over 300 with runners in scoring possession. He's completely lost the strike zone. Nobody getting loose. Swings. It was Cal take ten swings from the right side. So I don't know what he does. Golf right-handed. Oh, he does. Yeah, but I think that my sense was that it was out of control. I would like to see him bring that up. Ball to strike to Mitch Hanniger. Buy a house over on the east side someplace. And it's the he does not go. With the new faces for this ball club. What if I told you that Luke Rayleigh, uh, Rayleigh's a house, who's 5'6, 160. He quit playing at 195. <laughs> the wall. And he's having a good day. Polanco is in. He'll be wearing a smile. He clears him off and gives the Mariners the lead. Pitching change. Mariners back in front. Moore at the plate looks at ball one. Started today was hitting over 380. Can I give you a nugget on Dylan? Dylan Moore saw him. And he said hi to him, looked at me and said, You remember? Cool. Pretty impressive. Yeah, very cool. Nice work, Devo.
chào mừng tất cả các bạn đã đến với kênh NFL của mình thì uh, bây giờ mình đi ngang đây mình thấy có một cái uh, rừng tràm nè thì mình sẽ uh, quay mấy cây tràm ha mình biết cũng biết thông tin sơ sơ thôi đây những cái lá tràm nên là những cây tràm nè bự nhỏ gì cũng có hết rất là mềm Ồ, oh. đây, thì sẽ bóc ha thì, Nhìn thì nghĩ là nó chắc đúng không? Nhưng mà nè, không đâu nha Đó. Những cái này là người ta người ta róc ra Người ta để làm giấy Bán làm giấy á Thấy không? Đây là cái của nó nè nó giống các bạn nhìn về thấy nó giống như cái thùng mà của mấy cái thùng mà cà tông á trời ơi đó đây trong thân cây của nó nè à, cái cây này là cứng rồi nè là hết lọt rồi vậy nè biết bao nhiêu lớp không nè thì đếm lớp nữa ha một lớp tám lớp phải chục lớp được đây nè những cái này nè đó rất giống cái thùng giấy không nè đi gan được đó. còn những cái cây này những cái thân cây cứng của nó là sẽ người ta có thể làm làm những cái hàng rào nè những cái hàng rào trắng những cái đó máy bay bay lên ở đây mình đang sát máy bay luôn mà máy bay bay trên ngọn tràm luôn đây nè cái ngoài của nó là để đã đến ba bốn lớp rồi nè 